Hey y'all, we're back over here at uh, Mike and Brenda's. Uh, I just wanted to play with my testos a little more. Uh, there's no problem over here or anything. Um, basically, uh, kind of doing that thing where I was telling you, I, I went from my unit, which is, uh, you know, the last of the R22s, and we're going back here to Brenda's with, uh, she's got the uh, 13th Sear American Standard R410A uh, heat pump over here. I went just going to slap on there and and uh, check check your uh, uh, temperatures and pressures out and check subcooling and all that good stuff. So, uh, might even do a Delta T downstairs. So, uh, let me get after her. Hey y'all, we're back over here at Mike and Brenda's and uh, I'm doing a Delta T or Delta T on our unit here. Uh, I'm gonna get my temperature from my return drop and I'm gonna get my temperature from my, uh, from my supply here. Uh, but I just, basically just getting everything prepped. I'm going to head out back and uh, uh, put the Testo 550s on her. Uh, I'll be back down here in just a minute. Okay y'all, we're out here at Brenda's unit. And like I said, this is the Heritage 13. It's an American Standard uh, uh, heat pump. I've got her on a dual fuel system over here. Uh, said they love it. So, let's see, the subcooling, the design subcooling is calling for nine. Y'all see that right there? Okay. So we're going to hook the new Testo 550s to it, once I get everything taken apart here. And, uh, we'll have air. Trust me, uh, these caps are on tight. I, I just loosened them with my uh, with my wrench. So, Okay, well let me get the gauges hooked onto her, and uh, I'll get right back with you. Okay y'all, I got her hooked to it, and as you can see, um, she's sitting at zero and zero, and super heat just popped up on there but like I was telling Jason I don't have the ball valves open yet they're both shut off see I've got my temperature clamps on there so we're ready to rock I've also bumped it to R410A as opposed to R22 and I've got my new you know R410A hose on there I don't know if y'all can see that or not kind of sunny out here a little bit but anyway what I do is basically I'll throttle open my stuff here so I'm gonna throttle open my my suction line real slow got it and then I'm gonna throttle open my liquid it should be good to go and there we go wham went right to it okay let's see what we got here we got 7.2 7.2 15 on the on the superheat and we got 7.27 on the subcooling. Now when I dialed this thing in, all I had was a regular thermometer and I was told by the factory that, you know, subcooling was the only thing that mattered on these units. Well, you know, they're, they're wrong about that. You cannot tell how this unit is functioning if you don't know what your superheat is. You know, it could be flooding back to the evaporator. So uh, it looks like I'm a little low. Uh, however, she said that thing will freeze you out of there, but I want to get her dead on the money She's a good friend of mine, and I want to take care of her. So, okay. Well, let me uh, let me go get my refrigerant Okay, while we were sitting here, I've just been letting her run And she's already up to like 8.1 She's throttling with the TXV as you can see right here 8.0 and roughly my superheat is 15 So that's what 8 times you know, that's like you know seven degrees apart and that is that's super however the manufacturer calls for nine degrees subcooling so i'm just going to add a little taste of refrigerant you can uh this uh, r410a will get get away from you so you just got to throttle just a little bit in all right guys looky there 9.2 she's been 9 9.0 8.8 8. let's see what we can get here 9.0 i think i'm pretty damn close Okay, let's see what my, this is my superheat, 16. This is my subcooling, nine. That's what, a difference of uh, seven. I think that's looking damn good. What do you think, Dallas? Look at this suction line temperature, 55 degrees. Is that not tight or what? Liquid line's 91.9. Evaporator temperature is 39.2. Condenser temperature is 100, 101 degrees Fahrenheit. And Delta T, I'm not really sure about that Delta T. I need you to school me on that. 
All right, so we're back to the sub cooling. 9.7. Let's see what she's going to do here. She's kind of fluctuating between 9 and 10. Of course, that TXV is opening. It's about 90, 93 degrees out here today. I'm very happy with this. Man, I love my Testo 550. Okay, <clears throat> okay, y'all, we're doing the Delta T to Brenda's now. All right, this is after I've added the refrigerant. Man, it only took like maybe three ounces of that. All right, we're gonna call this, it's going in between 69.4 and 69.8. 69. Point four, sixty nine. I'm gonna call her sixty nine point four. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna run it right, right, right here, sixty nine point four. Okay. Now we're gonna come right over here and yeah, check that out. Rochester's heating there, past with flying colors. All right, let's see here. What are we looking at here? We're looking at 49 degrees. Can y'all see that? 49, all right, she's holding it 49. So we're gonna come over here and we're gonna do our basic math. I said the magic number was 20. All right, so let's see. My hell, I can do this by hand, man. All right, that's zero. That's uh, that's two. That's twenty. That's twenty point four, guys. Come on now, twenty point four, huh? That is dialed in, baby. That's Rochester's heating and air style right there. All right. 